Holy Wiremite here. Welcome to tutorial 21 in the GLUA Pro series, where we're going to be brushing up on the task and schedules which are associated with the base AI. Now, I will not have an in game example for you in this one, as it's going to require that we have ground nodes assigned to our map, and for whatever reason, uh, GM Construct is not actually compatible with this method. However, I will go over task and schedules to just show you what's going on with that. So, let's start with a schedule. A schedule is simply a bunch of tasks which are going to be ordered and such. So if we want to make a schedule, we'd go to AI underscore schedule, just like that from that library. And we're going to get the new function here. We just name our schedule, whatever we want, just like this. And then this is where we will be assigning task. So here we have, let's say we want three tasks for our schedule and we can either use add task which is for more customized tasks that we have set up, or we can use an engine task. Now, engine tasks are available if you go into right over here in this website, which I'll provide in the link in the description below. And we have a bunch of different tasks that we can take here. So let's say for this schedule, which will be run on the NPC, that we want to take the task, which is known as task underscore target player. So what this does is it actually goes and targets pretty much the nearest player by the NPC. And then let's make another engine task. And then we will say task move to target range. So here we're going to specify a parameter. Now if the command or task does not have a parameter by default, just put zero. Otherwise you're going to put a parameter. So this is going to move our NPC closer to the target player within 60 Gmod units of that player. And then let's go to task. And then let's say task wait for movement. And what this does is it will wait for the NPC to move to the target player from right here. And then it'll start executing any more tasks after it's done moving if we so desire. So that's pretty much what you do. So a task is simply like a command on an NPC. So you do a couple tasks, you wait if need be, and then you execute the rest of your task, and that is a schedule right there. So that should explain a task in a schedule. Also, if you wish to initialize your schedule, you'll want to incorporate this very important function, which is going to be with int as such, and it's called select schedule. And that's going to allow you to run the schedule that you have for the NPC. So we'll say start schedule just like that. Then we say what schedule we're going to be doing. Well, we defined it up here, so we just put it right there. And there we go. It is now set up for the NPC. Now, alternatively, there is another type of way to execute pre-made schedules. And these schedules are going to be listed right here. So again, these work best if you have ground nodes in the map for AI. Uh, so you might want to make a custom map which I wish I had prepared for you or I could get for you, but at the moment I'm not able to. So for now, let's focus on schedule uh, force go, which is going to actually make your NPC move from point A to point B. So how you would do that is first off, we have to set a move type for the NPC. We already have the capability to move grounds and that's pretty much all you need for that part of it. So if we want to put move type, where you put move type and there's different move type enumerations I can include in the description below as well. So we have move type step and this one specifically for NPCs. Then we're going to need another one called set schedule and we'll say schedule, which enumeration type as we just saw, forced go. Now I do actually recommend run because that one is a lot better. You won't if you have two nodes, like node A and node B, and the NPC is going between those two nodes, the, no the NPC might turn around on its own if you don't actually use run. So I do recommend using run. Now, the only thing with this is we have to have a destination for the entity to run to. So what we can do then is let's say we want it to run towards the player. So how we do that is go NPC and do something called set save value. Now the save value is going to be called m underscore vec last position. So this is going to get the last position of the player, which is going to be spawning. 
in this case. So if if you have another way of identifying an entity, you can just put the entity right here. It doesn't have to be the player. It can be any position. As long as this value is a vector, that's fine. So what's going to happen is, in this case, theoretically, if it, this all worked with the given map and the given game mode that we're doing and had ground notes, the player would spawn. The position would be set as a save value to the NPC. Then the NPC on its creation would go through here. We'd have the move type to step, and we can set schedule for our schedule force go run, and that would move the NPC to the player, like I said, assuming that there are ground nodes. And likewise, this would be the task if we had the method of actually running the task. So this is a very short and general overview of task and schedules. There's a lot more you can do with this. Uh, and if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave some in the comment section below. Until then, I hope you liked the material. And as always, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.